Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the different modes of communication. Now, in the previous videos, when we studied about the reference models, I told you that uh, basically during any communication, there are five major components uh, that are involved. First component is the sender, then comes the receiver, then the message that is being transmitted, then the protocols that are being followed and the last is the transmission link through which that communication is happening. Now, when the communication is happening between a sender and a receiver, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is that only the sender is allowed to send the data and the receiver can only receive the data. That means the communication is unidirectional in nature and it will never happen that the receiver is also allowed to send the data. So this type of communication is known as simplex communication. In simplex communication, the communication happens only from one device to the other device and never in the opposite direction. So only one device can send the data and the other device can only receive the data. And the example of simplex communication uh, will be, uh, you can imagine it like the one-way street where the uh, traffic is going from one place to the other or the direction of traffic is from the uh, right to the left and no other uh, car can come in the opposite direction, okay? You can also uh, put an example of say printing or keyboard. So whenever you send a command from your uh, computer or desktop or laptop to the printer, the printing operation or this command of printing is only going from the computer to the printer. The printer will never send any command back to the uh, computer for printing okay that is not a communication when you get a message from the printer of saying uh, ink is less or paper out of uh, no paper in the tray the communication that we are talking here about is the a command that is being sent for printing only the computer will send the commands for printing similarly uh, if you are typing something then you can only send data or you can only press uh, keys on the keyboard to send information from the keyboard to the computer okay so the direction will always be entering of information from the keyboard to the computer whereas in this case the direction is commands of printing will be sent from the pc to the printer the next is the half duplex connection in the case of half duplex communication or connection both the devices can send and receive the data but not at the same time okay when one device is sending data the other can only receive whereas when the second device is sending data the other device will only act as a receiver so if i say it like sender can send information at one point of time but it cannot receive information at the same time and if receiver wants to receive the data can be sent in this direction also but this time will be completely different this has to happen at two different time moments so one when sender is sending it will be at one point in time and when this communication ends at some other point in time communication 2 at point t2 will begin where the direction of data is reversed okay so in half duplex both devices can send and receive data but not at the same time and it utilizes the entire capacity of the channel for communication so what does that mean so basically we studied that uh, whenever we have a communication, a transmission link is involved. So there is a capacity, there is the uh, each transmission link has a capacity 
at which data can be transmitted okay so uh, that capacity the amount of data that can be transferred through that transmission link is called its capacity now if in simplex and half duplex data is only traveling in one direction at a point then all the capacity of that channel is being utilized okay so you can imagine it like a water pipe when you uh, start a tap and you connect the pipe to it the data is or the water is flowing from the tap to into the pipe and then coming out of the pipe from the other end so the entire volume of the pipe is being used for transmitting data from tra for transmitting water from the tap to the other end similarly in simplex as well as in half duplex the entire capacity of the transmission link or the communication media is used because at one given point in time the data will only flow in one direction and when in half duplex the data will flow in the other direction that particular transmission link will now be entirely used to communicate in the other direction so at any time either this side communication will take place using the entire uh, channel capacity or the other side communication will take place again using the entire channel capacity and the best example for half duplex is a walkie talkie you might have seen a uh, policeman talking on a walkie talkie when they actually say something and then they say over and out and that is basically allowing the other person the other end to now send information so once they send a message they inform the other person which allows the other person to then communicate because the walkie talkie is based on this half duplex communication mode and only one uh, side communication can happen at one point okay so uh, simplex will only send data in one direction it is like a communication between your boss and you most of the times you generally cannot say something in front of your boss so the boss only gives you instructions right so now a half duplex can be a peer to peer communication and then last is the full duplex in which both devices can send and receive data and that too simultaneously so it is like the modern day telephone or mobile phones which allow both the sides to talk and even if both the sides are talking at same time the data is being sent the data is being received uh, but you might or not in understand what the other person is saying but there is no restriction from the uh, uh, side of communication so there is no restriction because of the communi the mode of communication okay modern day telephones or mobile phones now in case of full duplex the channel capacity can either be shared because both the communication has to take place in one channel in both the directions so half capacity can be reserved from uh, point a to point b and the other half can be reserved for the direction from b to a or the second alternative is or the alternative to this is using of separate physical links for each direction of communication okay so this was about the three modes of communication the simplex half duplex and full duplex it is important for your theory exams to know the examples to know the basic differences and uh, how the channel capacity is used in each of them so that's all for today thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam